So we're uh, back out again in the great outdoors. Uh, August bank holiday, we're in the lakes, so we must be nuts. But it's not too bad, is it? No, not too bad. So we're just about to start our first hike of two. And we've stopped in Seathwaite Farm, which is Seathwaite Farm Camping, which is there. And we're about to follow this path up here. There's a waterfall. I didn't do any filming last night because it took about 12 hours to negotiate with John's agent. Uh, he wouldn't sign the model release form. He's got his back to us now. He's just not, not partaking. Say hello, John. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get Gannon, take some pictures of that nice waterfall, and I'll bring you back once we're sweating in that. These layers just scrambling up the rock. Looks like he's done it before to me. Legend. So we've reached the top of the first part of the climb, I reckon. I think there's a, quite a bit to go, but look at the view here. So that's the campsite down there, Seathwaite Farm. Like, we're definitely not wild camping, but it's not far away from wild camping, is it, Lee? Not really. So we've just come down up from there following like a waterfall and then we're going up there I'll tell you what I'm getting sick of them <sighs> Right, so we've, uh, we're just about to get the green gable and we've skirted round base brown and I'm knackered. My legs are shot like yours. Quite, quite heavy going. Sweating. Anyway, so far so good. Burnt off about 800 calories, John reckons. So we'll crack on, eh? Yep. So this is the top of Green Gable and now we're going to Great Gable. Hey, oh. how did that go? Alright, I'm ready for my sandwich. Uh, shall we have sandwich now or I think so. dip down there? Spot there? Right, beer time. Okay. Uh, Where is that? Pastrami New York sandwich. Lee, what have you got? Chicken mozzarella and pesto. John's forgot his sandwich, left it in the fridge. So I've picked the meat out. And so he's got a New York sandwich without pastrami. I'm that kind of guy, really. Very nice of you. Give you the shirt off me back. You wouldn't want that one, though, so. Right, so we're just coming off um, Green Gable, down the Windy Gap. And then up that path, up the Great Gable up there, which just looks kind of steep, doesn't it? So we're on like a scramble up from Windy Gap up to Great Gable. Not easy, like. Please, I've got a good big pack on. Right, we're at the top of Great Gable. Anyway, I think it's all downhill from here, pretty much. But I'll give you a bit of a spin. 
I think we're getting an absolutely cracking day. That's Scarfell Pike over there. That's where we're heading tomorrow. Enjoying it? Yep. Right. We've made it back. Yeah, weary. Wasn't much crack for the last three miles, was there? Not really. So we're back at the farm. I think it's safe to say we're all pretty Tired. knackered. Legs are gonna explode. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, freshen up and then head into Keswick. Find someone to have a drink. See you tomorrow. Right, so we've reached um, Skyhead Town, or Wild Camping Group, which is on Lee's left shoulder. Skyhead Town, there's another tent there. We've had an absolutely storm at night, like, because there's not, there's not a breath of wind. No. The sun's out. But it's not red hot yet, is it? It's nice and it's got a bit of a cool breeze. But I'll tell you what, look at that, man. Mint. Now heading up towards Scarfell Pike, um, but I think I might have put the wrong directions in because it looks more a bit more like Mordor, and it looks canny steep as well. How would you feel about it, Les? Slightly intimidated. Aye. Looks black. But there's only one way to do it. Yeah. Cut on. Right. Let's get Gannon. Piece of cake. That's one next. Just having them five minutes. So you can see behind us. Looks pretty dramatic stuff. Like a ravine heading all the way down into the, the valley and then me and Lee just come from around this sort of rock face you wouldn't be able to call it a path would you? No, nah, unexpected. To be honest I'm not good with heights and I was on my threshold I was putting as Dave would say uh, but we did it and they say you should do something that scares you at least once a day. Well, that was my once a day. Oh, you don't need any more. <laughs> right, let's get Gannon onwards and upwards. Right. Well, I might have the sh I might have the shoulder of lamb. Yeah. I think John made a very, very shrewd decision because with an injury, I'd, he wouldn't have gotten up there, would he? No. I think where well, he barely got up there, you've got to be, you kind of just rock up here and do this, can you? No. Cold up here, though, I think we're going to have to put our layers on. Shocker. Right, Les, shall we go and touch this trick point? Well done, mate. Shall we get some beer? <laughs> I right. Right. So we've just come off Scarfell Pike, which is up there, and then down 
this descent, which from here looks horrendous. And it wasn't easy coming down it, but it looks proper precarious from here, coming down there. And now we've come up from there and we're heading up to Broad Crag this way. I think I've had enough just about now, have you? Yeah, it's time for home. So we're going to give the helicopter a ring, <laughs> um, see if they wouldn't mind coming to pick us up, because uh, I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> so no, well, we're, I'm not going to do much more filming because we just want to get off now yeah. and uh, start uh, eating stuff and that. Rescue our mate back from uh, the camp. See how many of uh, Lee's cans John's drank. <laughs> 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 anyway, John would have enjoyed that apart from his knee. It would have been horrendous for John like coming down there with a bad knee. But he's in Keswick having a lovely time at the uh, pencil factory apparently. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll see you by properly later on. Right, we can pretty much see the campsite. So uh, we're about done. So, and I'm running out of battery, so we'll have to sign off pretty quick. So that was eight, well, so over 8.76 miles lay. Yeah. And it was six, well, six hours 40. Hard miles. Hard miles, aye. Six hours 40. We had a bit of a stop for lunch on the top of Scarfell Pike. Uh, and I reckon we're both pretty much empty now, aren't we? Badly. So that was Lee's first time in the Lake District. Can yep. you believe it? And I don't think you could have gotten a better two days. You'll never be as lucky again, that's for sure. It's been, I don't think I've had a, I don't think we've had a breath of wind, have we? No. Hasn't rained, no wind. It's been sunny. Today, actually, it's a bit overcast, but you know what? That, we needed that, didn't we, today? Because yeah. if it would have been hot and sunny, I think uh, I might have pushed us over the edge, yeah? I might have come up early. I would have been done in. Um, I so had a, a, a great weekend. Shame John couldn't have come on this walk, but he's got a bad knee. Uh, so we're going to get back to the van. Have a can, eh? Can I? Have a can, get oh, showered, and go out and have a well earned three course meal. Got out else to say, Lee? No, no, I've no. enjoyed it. Good. Wasn't wild camping, obviously, but it was outdoor things. So wild, wild walking. I hope I, I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, you can subscribe. Make it twenty-two subscribers <laughs> rather than twenty-one, and a like and all. Anyway, that's us. We'll sign off for the day. See you later. Bye. <laughs>